we present Flex Avatar, a method for learning complete 3D head avatars from partial supervision. Flex Avatar can create a high quality 3D head avatar from any image, even stylized portraits. The resulting avatars can be animated realistically, including extreme expressions such as shouts. This is possible even though the method has only seen a single image of the person. Under the hood, our method predicts a set of 3D Gaussians for each frame. These Gaussians can be rendered from any viewpoint. As a result, our generations are perfectly view consistent and show no temporal flickering. All avatars also share a common latent space. This allows smooth interpolations between different identities. Our goal is to learn complete 3D head avatars, even from partially supervised data, such as monocular portrait videos. Although Flex Avatar is mainly trained on monocular video data, it can still predict the entire head. This makes full 360 degree renderings possible. The back of the head is never visible in a single input image, but it is plausibly inpainted by our method. Flex Avatar can be robustly applied in many situations. It works with different hairstyles, different lighting, and diverse facial shapes. We can also create avatars from stylized images, such as artistic portraits or cartoon-like inputs. Even in these challenging cases, Flex Avatar produces coherent 3D avatars with realistic expression control. We demonstrate the usability of Flex Avatar in a user interface. Both animation and rendering run in real time. This allows users to freely explore the avatar in 3D while it moves. Each avatar is stored in a compact latent code. This code can be loaded instantly to switch to another avatar. To create a new avatar, only a single image of a person is required. In the first step, we run 3D face tracking with Pixel 3D MM. This provides the camera viewpoint and the expression code of the input image. The tracking typically takes about one minute. Now, an initial version of the avatar can already be viewed in 3D. To further improve visual quality, we run a short optimization process that aligns the avatar more closely with the input image. After another minute of processing, the avatar is ready and can be freely animated and explored in 3D. To train a single image 3D avatar pipeline, a large number of monocular portrait videos is typically used since not enough multi-view data is available. However, monocular training has a key problem. The driving image and the target image are the same. This allows the model to use the expression control signal to infer the target viewpoint. When this happens, the model can minimize the loss without learning a full 3D head. The result is an incomplete avatar that only looks good from the driving viewpoint. We call this behavior entanglement of the driving signal and target viewpoint. Simply mixing monocular and multi-view data does not resolve this issue. Instead, we propose so-called bias syncs that help bridge the gap between monocular and multi-view data, leading to both complete and generalized 3D head avatars. Our method adopts an encoder-decoder design. The encoder is inspired by large avatar model and uses cross-attention to embed the image information into a compressed avatar-laden space. The decoder follows avatar and models face animation entirely via cross-attention to the sequenced expression code. That way, our model is not limited by the expression space of a 3D MM. The resulting features are then translated into Gaussian attributes via shallow MLPs and an efficient upsampler architecture. A key idea of our method is the use of bias syncs. These are learnable tokens that mark whether a training sample comes from a monocular or multi-view dataset. We append these tokens to the expression sequence. This way, the model learns to entangle the driving signal and the target viewpoint only when the monocular token is present. At inference, we always provide the multi-view token. The model then produces a complete 3D head avatar. Furthermore, our training yields a smooth latent space of avatars. This way, our method can be extended to more than one input image via fitting. 
This enables applications such as creating an avatar from a few smartphone images of a person. Now we show comparisons on regular portrait reenactment. Here, the baselines perform well, but our method produces more expressive and more detailed animations. Next, we look at single image avatar creation where free camera control is required. Our method creates a complete 3D head avatar while baselines struggle with view extrapolation. Finally, we show a comparison with avatar in the few shot setting. Our renderings are sharper and preserve the identity more accurately. We have introduced Flex Avatar, a method for creating complete 3D head avatars from single or multiple images of a person. Thank you for your attention.